it up. Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Bamboo Lab H2D video. This is actually the laser. The freaking Bamboo Lab put a freaking laser on the printer. Dr. Evil, it's about the sharks. When you were frozen, they were put on the endangered species list. We tried to get some, but it would have taken months to clear up the red tape. You know, I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, evidently, my cycloptic colleague informs me that that can't be done. I want to tell you straight up, this is not a half-assed laser that's added to the Bamboo Lab. This is really thought out in a really well-implemented laser that's actually put into this Bamboo Lab. All the safety features are added, all of the stuff that's prevalent of a laser that's easy to use, like the Glowforge, which I actually had a while back, that I actually used for many projects. This actually kind of reminds me of that and makes it easy to get into the laser field, like the Glowforge was actually intended to do. The Bamboo Lab actually does add that to the actual industry. I should get the tech whether the top cover is off. Let's have sensors everywhere. Shit, the setup is nice and all, but I don't want to have to do that shit every time I want to change the laser. So my advice, if you're actually getting this laser combo, is to set up the laser while you're setting up the printer. I actually set the printer up and was printing with it for days before I actually went to go get the laser. So I had the AMS already on top of it. And it was almost like I was moving so many things out the way. And as you already saw in the beginning of the video, I actually almost damaged the top cover, just trying to get that off and getting the actual laser module plugged into the actual print head. Um, I do know that you're probably gonna actually have to take the AMS off top and all the time and then take the cover off to get into the top because there's almost no way unless you're really good at feeling around to get that laser module plugged in every time you need to remove it and put it back but yeah that's kind of a hassle to kind of keep removing the AMS. The Bamboo Lab did build a good machine here. Yeah, I think they do do a good, a good job at filtering out the air using the holes and leading the actual fumes outside of a window. If you actually don't have a window or anything like that, that's actually where you could actually exhaust all those fumes out. You could actually buy the Bamboo Lab um, vent system, the actual um, air purification system that I actually do that for you. Fortunately for me, I actually have a window that actually, that's in my basement that actually can exhaust the fumes out so that I don't have to actually spend that extra cost for the air purification. It is a nice, to have for that air, but I'm not sure how much that will actually help for the smell of the smoke or the burning items that you're actually going to be laser cutting. Okay, so as far as the size, there's been a lot of complaining about the actual size of the H2D. See, this is what I'm talking about. Turn around, look at that. You see what I mean? It's it's plump, it's juicy, it's three inches thick. Now. Look at this sorry, miserable, squashed thing. As far as 3D print goes, or even laser cutting, and like, is it the actual right size for a 3D printer or even laser cutting? 
actually is in a ballpark of the perfect size for me. Like even when I actually bought the Elegoo, um Plus, which was actually the perfect size build plate for me. The, the Max is great, but the um, Pro was actually the perfect size. The Elegoo falls right in range of that size. Um, and you can pretty much get a helmet on it, anything else. And for laser cutting is actually pretty fairly good. Unless you're trying to get murals, print, cut, and stuff like that, then this is probably not for you. You probably want to go towards a laser cutter that's pretty much set for mural cutting. But this right here is pretty much perfect for me for that kind of, these type of projects. Test um, card stock is actually done. Um, it actually only made these little line test cuts, and I can smell the burning card stock. So, like any other laser, you could actually smell the actual cuts. And actually, if you can see this, cut clean through it. So, so far, cutting card stock is easy. So Bamboo Suite is actually really nice. Um, when you first open it up, it get introduced by this kind of walkthrough as you use it. And it comes with like some sample files that you could actually use to cut on different materials like cork, um, paper, even the wood. And it kind of guides you through as you're using it. Um, really good with these little tips and things like that to kind of navigate you through. Um, it's actually a very simple software to use. If you want to just learn to use it, just open it up. It's that simple to kind of navigate through the software. But it gives you plenty of video, plenty of demos on how to actually use it and what to look for. And kind of overly guide you through a lot of the, the use of the software. You also get a, a, a lot of um, samples of the actual materials that you can use. Um, navigating the mouse over certain areas of the software actually lets you know and gives you kind of some good previews of what you're looking at in the good description of also of what you're actually about to click on. Okay, the cork is done. Looks pretty good. Seems to actually had cut straight through. Pretty good. Really clean. So seems to cut cork pretty easily. Now let's see if it could cut wood. Now 
in my experience watching other videos, the 10 watt laser struggles with wood. Here's where it usually goes left, straight down fuck street. I think we can all agree that shit just went sideways in the most colossal way. This time I want to push the boundaries and actually put my logo in there and try to cut that out of wood to see how, one, how easy it is to use the software and how well it is at cutting something that actually also has some engraving properties to it. I can't stress enough how simple Bamboo Suite is. It basically recognizes almost all vector path softwares and file for, like pretty much all the basic file formats like SVGs, even AI files, Adobe Illustrator files right off the bat. So unlike the actual Glowforge where the actual paths had to be kind of defined in red lines, this one pretty much detect all paths as cuts and all fills as actually engravings. So that makes it pretty simple to set your files up. <laughs> I just noticed the H2D got jokes. Steven, 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 Steven. Let's keep it funny. That 10 white laser didn't cut shit. The engraving looks great, but I could barely even feel the indentation in these lines. It basically looked like it just drew on the wood. I'm gonna try to slow the laser down and see if it actually can cut better then. actually can feel the grooves a little bit more but still didn't manage to cut through at all and this is at a lower speed dare I go down even further let's try it I see a lot more smoke from low, slowing it down it look like the cuts are deeper. It look like it can do it. Is doing it. It look like it is doing it. Looks promising. Look like it's doing it. Is doing it. It's doing it. And no. Yeah, it actually almost did it. It actually, if you look at that, the lines actually are really deep, really gorged in there. And um, yeah, looking at the back, you could actually see it almost made it through. Um, you can see the burn marks there. Um, maybe if I actually moved it down to about 5%, it might cut through, maybe even 1%, but I'm not going to try that. Since looking at the 3D printer nerd, how his chamber actually burst into flames. The 3D printer actually did a good job of um, suffocating the fire out, but I'm definitely not going to put my 3D printer through that. And some parts of the keychain actually didn't come out as well as I hope. But um, that probably was my fault because how I actually laid it in there. I just put it on top of the wood and stuff. But you can see it actually does um, engrave pretty well on it. It almost like it just kind of puts a burn stain on it. Um, the reflective surface of it actually makes the blue laser a little difficult to engrave things like this. So, so far, what do I think about the H2D with the laser combo, not bad at all. Actually, um, kind of reminds me of that all-in-one kitchen appliance you, per you buy that has everything built into it. Um, but some things are not good, but in this case, the Bamboo Lab actually executed pretty well. I probably don't recommend the 10-watt laser if you're trying to cut things bigger, like harder, like wood 
or engrave into like more finer metals and stuff like that. Probably go with the 40 watt laser module. I was actually more after the vinyl cutter, which I'm actually going to check out next in this um, regard. But everything's pretty much well implemented. The lasers, pretty much top quality laser. Um, the Bertok camera works really well. The Bamboo Studio, really good. The 3D printing is just as good as the X1 Carbon. So, yeah, I think they execute it very well. So let's check out the vinyl cutter. I'm actually planning on getting a um, high temperature AMS as well. So stick around for those videos. Um, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to catch more videos I got coming up. And thanks for watching.